If you are curious about the drive between Colorado and Arizona, let me paint you a picture. Imagine looking at nothing but a beige screensaver for hours and hours and hours. Not a tree in sight until we started climbing the mountain into Flagstaff and nearly wept with joy at the sight of a single pine. We camped at Pine Grove Campground, a truly gorgeous place. Plenty of space, no power, no sewer, just raw, unfiltered nature. It was so peaceful. We fired up the generator just to keep the trailer lights and fridge going, which is great because it forced the kids to go outside and experience something called fresh air. They're looking for worms. It's been raining here. Find them, kids. So they should be close to the surface. Hurry up. So they're looking underneath every single rock as we're walking, trying to see if they can find a worm. Go, go, go. Ez, come here. Let me see what you have in your shirt. Ezra, we have 21. Collecting pine cones? And Cash and Reach combined to have 21. I have 96. I want 22. The ranger programs were top notch. Even the movie nights felt like a film festival. Yeah. Our kids walked away with new books and all kinds of fun facts about wildlife that they'll probably forget by the next week. Keep walking. I had this great idea to rent an ATV and take the kids on an unforgettable off-road adventure. And oh, oh, it was unforgettable all right, but uh, for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, you heard that right. My kid hates off-roading because it takes forever. Not only did the kids hate it, they fell asleep. I moved to the back seat so I could hold Ezra's head up and Cash could enjoy the ride. And then it started raining. Not your cute romantic movie rain. No, I am talking biblical build an ark where's Noah when you need him rain. I stopped filming because I was using my jacket to shield the kids from the torrential downpour, effectively becoming a human umbrella. Good, how about you? Good, thank you. I'm Officer Priest. The reason we uh, pulled both you guys over. Um... Immediately following that dumpster fire, we got pulled over by driving back to the campground. Oh, were we? Um, were you guys just passing through town? or? Yeah, we're we're camping right out here. Sure. Yeah, we're just passing through town. Sure, no worries. Uh, we're getting a couple of households in there complaining about speeders, so that's why we're in there. Oh, okay. Um, do you have a license handy with you? Yes, I do. Thank you. And then if you just have a registration slip handy. I'll grab the current one. I think it's in the glove box. That's, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Um, you got an updated sticker on. Yeah. Um, if, if your license checks out, I'm going to get you guys out of here with a warning. Just okay. give me about two minutes, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. you. That back for you guys, along with just the right warning. All right. So, yeah. Thank you, you so much. You guys are familiar with the roadway, so if, if you lived here, maybe I'd expect you to know. Okay. 
I thought it was 55 because we were, I remember driving this stretch sure. yes because we just got here yesterday sure and it was 55 so I thought that's yeah it just, it just changes uh 45 right behind us uh all the way into town so yeah absolutely so are you guys camp down here yeah nice. We're at uh, Pine, Pine Grove, Grove. Yeah, campground. Cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it's a great campground. Yeah, good good weather. We were finally getting a rain this year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got oh, Cod and ATV in it today, so yeah, we last we year can get it out. Dry and hot, just oh. miserable. Really? Yeah. yeah, we got soaked. We were out in it today. I know. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully today it's a slight chance, but yeah, you, know, you never know. Yeah. Well, have a good weekend, guys. All right. Thank, thank you. You too. You. Fun fact: When I get pulled over, I get tickets. When Chris gets pulled over, he gets a friendly chat about the weather. That's not true. I got a ticket in, in, uh, and come to think of it, I've never had one. <laughs> Must be my charming personality. Or it's because God loves you more than anyone else. True. Or as the kids say, no cap. There was such a heavy sadness hanging over us as we left. We thought this was the last stop in our tremendously great adventure. Little did we know that a crazy one was right around the corner. We crossed into California, watched gas prices rocket to the moon, and then finally arrived home to a surprise party thrown by a leaking toilet. <laughs> Welcome home.